guys today i'm gonna do jumpstart january this is gonna be a tag video um childhood tag by my boo james carwell um it's 10 questions so here we go and it's crazy see our birthday is same day so it's crazy because the other day i was gonna do a childhood tag and guess great minds think alike so um here we go where number one where did you grow up? I grew up in, um, I grew up in Compton, California. Um, I mainly stayed with my doc, my, my dad's mom, my grandmother, um, most of my life. So, you know, well, up until I was like 16, 17, I stayed with my grandmother and I was raised in Compton, California. But when I would go stay with my mom, she moved a lot in California, so I stayed, like, in the, in the Empire, I've stayed L.A., Long Beach, all that kind of stuff. So, L.A. County. But I'm from Compton, through and through. <laughs> number two, where, oh, number two, were you a good kid? I believe so. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, I believe I was a good kid. I could have done some stuff, but I was always the type of kid that, like, I would ditch and go to ditching parties, but right before they get to cracking with ditching parties do, I would make an excuse to leave because I knew if I got caught, my grandma wasn't playing that shit. I'm from Compton. My grandma grew up in Watts. So, you knew how that beat down was going to go. I'm just saying. So... Yeah, for the most part, I was a good kid. I wasn't a troublemaker. I didn't start fights. I had some, but I didn't start none. Um, and I was friends with everybody. I was the type of person, I didn't give a fuck who you was. I was friends with everybody. What was your worst punishment? I don't have a worst punishment. But I do remember getting a whooping. Because... It wasn't a punishment because my grandma felt like after she whooped your ass or whatever, it was over with. But I do remember getting a whooping because, I don't know, I was probably like in third, fourth grade. And um, I wanted a bowl of cereal. And the milk was frozen. So I went in and stabbed the goddamn milk with a knife. And the milk just poured out everywhere. My grandma beat my ass like for real, for real. But, hey. Like, I wanted some cereal. I'm just saying. Um, number four. What did you do during summers? I'm from Compton. We didn't do no family vacations. We didn't go no damn where. We stayed on the block. Played dodgeball. We played baseball with the uh, soda cans at the base. We played tetherball. We went around the corner to our friend's house where we had to be back before the street lights came on. Like, that was my summers. Until I turned 14. Once I turned 14, my grandma was like, okay, y'all gotta get a summer job every year. Fuck all that. So, after 14, I had got a summer job and I worked every summer, but that was our summer. And we had the bomb ass summers, I'm just saying. Um, number five, what is your best and happiest childhood memory? I don't think I have one. Like, I can't even think of a best childhood memory. Just going outside. I mean, you know, because like now kids can't go outside like they used to and play. And just to go outside from the motherfucking time you opened your eyes to the street lights came on, that was like the best times to me. To, I remember like we used to go, we sat this ice cream truck man come on our street named Chico and we used to go run like he would be driving and we would all run and jump on the back of the truck oh man that was like the best times and then the ice cream trucks that didn't like you would try to hurry up and go fast once you got on the back I'm just saying like them were the best times um buying when we used to have this donut truck they used to come on our street and they used to come with this horn you knew when they was coming but they used to have they used to open the slide door on the side of the van and they used to have like the best fucking quarter donuts ever they better than uh what's it winchos they better than Krispy Kreme 
And then we grew up when we was adults, we found out they were like day old donuts. But I'm telling y'all, back then those were the best fucking donuts ever. Now I don't even too much care for donuts. Um I got a text that I didn't get. You know how you get them texts and you be like, ugh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um damn, I'm trying to keep up with these damn numbers. Number six, what was your favorite toy? My favorite toy was I wanted a pogo ball. It was like a pogo stick, but it was a ball on top and a ball on the bottom. And um, it looked like a flying saucer like thing. But I wanted one so bad. And I finally got one for Christmas. And as soon as I went outside, I let my friend named Tana um, get on it. And she was older than me and she busted. But that was like my favorite thing. Them and um, pound puppies. Oh my god, pound puppies. And then when I was like in elementary, like third, fourth grade, I was such a tomboy. I played I play football with the boys on the street, all that kind of stuff. But I was such a tomboy. They used to have them Superman and He-Man action figures. You can buy them across the street from the uh, candy house for like 50 cents to a dollar. Oh my god. We used to have all of them, be trading them off. Them, marbles, garbage pail kid, trading cards. I'm telling y'all, them was the days. I'm just, ooh, I missed my childhood. Um, what was your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show, and I've always said this, was Small Wonder. I love Vicky. I'm telling you, that was my favorite show. What is your favorite game? My favorite game, like board games, is probably has to be the game of life. Monopoly I hate because people are always cheating on that goddamn game. But the game of life was like my game. That and um sorry. Oh my god, I love them. Um almost done. Almost done. I'm trying to get the questions. Um, were you ever bullied? No. Let me tell y'all, I got a hood ass family. So me getting bullied wasn't in the motherfucking cards. Cause I'm the type of person that if I see somebody getting bullies, I'm going to go try to defend that person and fight the person that bully them because I don't believe in that bullying shit. I'm telling you, my family's so hood. If they even found out somebody wanted to fight us, my whole family would be there. Like, one phone call, we all there. Grandmama, auntie, uncle, I don't give a damn. Like, we ain't playing that bullying shit. We got too many family members to play the bullying shit. We did, I'm telling you, and we wasn't a family that started fights or always got into fights, no. But if one of us get called, you best believe we are there. Um, number 10, do you stay in contact with your childhood friends? Of course. With Facebook, you can't get rid of them, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I really stay in contact with, shit, nine, probably 95% of the people that I grew up with, um, from kindergarten on I still stay in contact with people because good friends is hard to find even though we don't talk every day or whatever good friends is hard to find so most of the people I grew up with I still fuck with um but yeah that's my tag childhood tag video you know jump start January day 19 I think it is 20 shit day 20 but um damn we got a few a week and a half to go up with it but, um, yeah, tell me what you guys, what were your childhood memories? Um, if you want the questions, go to James Carwell's channel. He got the, cha the questions on his tag video. And go check him out. And, um, I tag all my Jumpstar January family. Everybody that's doing Jumpstar January. I want to see your answers. I would also like to see, like, Forrest Rocks and Jamila TV do this, too. Because I want to see their answers. Ashley, I would love to, but we know Ashley ain't doing no damn tags. Um, but for anybody that wants to do a tag, do them. They're fun. Um, follow me on Facebook, um, Instagram, Google Plus, Xbox Live. I do everything about the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I'll talk to you guys later.